Scott, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, good to meet you. My Thanks name's Hussein. No, thank you for coming. So, um, our paths have actually crossed once before. Earlier this year in June, I was at NASA, the Kennedy Space Center. Mm -hmm. I was on a government trip with the US Embassy. Okay. And they took us there the day you and John McBride launched okay. the Mars rover. Oh. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. And I wanted to talk to you then. But then there were so many people there. Yeah. So we couldn't get to you. And then I just believe in the At the visitor center. Yeah, the visitor okay. center. Okay. Yeah. I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> and I was there in the audience. Were you I, wearing that jacket? No, that's when I went and bought the jacket. Okay. And then um, came back home. Yeah. And then this happened. I'm right. It's really nice. So um, first thing I'd like to say is, where do you find time? Because you're so busy. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. I just go from one thing to the next. Has time management always been a good skill of yours? Absolutely not. Well, it must have been. You've managed to raise a family, <laughs> a family, and you talk about heavily in the book. You've yeah. got two, two children and space four times. Yeah. And I've, I've been watching every single interview you've done. Mm -hmm. I've, just, I've just tried to like make this as creative as possible. That would be great. So I thought I'd give you some space. Sure. You like what I've done there? I get it. <laughs> Do you get, have you had that before? No. Okay, that's good. So yeah. that's a good start. <laughs> I need to know what's on your Space Jams. So your the space, space Jams? Yes, your Space Playlist. So I see you tweet Cardi B yesterday saying, don't worry, she's still on the list. <laughs> so I need to know the other songs that you're listening to <laughs> on Earth yeah. and then up in space. You know, I have actually have a playlist on Spotify that is my Year in Space playlist. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff on there, yeah. different. And what's your favorite song to float around to? You know, I probably Coldplay's Speed of Sound because it seems very uh, appropriate. Nice. And um, one thing I really wanted to know was, have you developed, well, you must have, uh, I'd like to think, a mental tactic or coping mechanism of dealing with spending a long amount of time away from your loved ones that you could share with us? Well, you know, we get to contact them with mm -hmm. uh, telephone, email, yeah. we have video conferencing. Um, you know, I think it's uh, not unlike what people in the military do that are on deployment for mm -hmm. long periods of time. You know, you just do your best, uh, as best you can, knowing that there's nothing, you know, short of an emergency on the space station that would, mm -hmm. would bring you home. It's just something you have to deal with. Understand. And page nine tells me that you, that growing up, you like to take some risks. Yeah. Yep. What was the biggest risk you took? I don't know. We used to have rock fights with the kids across the street. Rock fights? Yeah. Or with actual stones? Yeah, like throwing rocks at each other. Oh, wow. Okay. That was pretty stupid. I don't recommend <laughs> it. <laughs> no, we don't do that here. All right. Do you have any favorite rap lyrics? Uh, Is there any rap songs that you listen to that will get you pumped up? Because I was, I was like trying to look at and psych myself up if I was to be an astronaut and think like boxers when going into... A boxing match mm. tend to get pumped up to rap songs and like I Have the Tiger isn't really a rap song but it kind of feels like a rap song. Mm -hmm. um, specific lyrics? Um, you know, I think uh, on my Year in Space song there's yep. uh, Jay-Z's uh, Empire State of Mind. Okay, beautiful song, yeah. yeah. And the last thing I'd like to ask you before I hand it over to James is can you teach endurance or is it something you have to experience? <laughs> um... You know, in this book, for me, it meant uh, a bunch of different things. You know, it was about spending a year in space, but it also about this kid that, you know, couldn't pay attention, didn't do well in school, and how with, uh, you know, a lot of hard work and uh, perseverance, I was able to, you know, change my life and then had the privilege of flying in space four times. I don't know if you can teach that kind of thing, but I'll tell you what. I got an incredible amount of inspiration from a book, The Right Stuff, mm -hmm. by Tom Wolfe, which made me believe that I could do more than I previously thought I was capable of doing with a little bit of just, you know, changing, um, you know, for me it meant changing one thing, and that was the ability for me to concentrate and study and to become a good student. And I hope, you know, my example and this book will uh, show that the people that read it that you know you can do some pretty uh, incredible things in your life if you uh, find inspiration yeah no it's very inspiring i'm i'm mm -hmm. very inspired i know millions of people across the world mm -hmm. are as well say one other thing what was the last concert you went to elton john in las vegas and when was that 
uh, about uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, nice. So you're still, having, you're still finding time to have fun whilst out on the road, traveling, promoting the book, being yes. a family man and, and a hero. Yeah. Well, you know, I find, uh, you know, Amiko and I, we, my fiance, we travel a lot for like public speaking and, and book promotion. And we, and we have the opportunity to do something that is mm -hmm. unique to that area. We take that yeah, opportunity. Well.